If you want to find elasticity of supply, let's start with the formula. It is the percent change in quantity supplied over percent change in price. Now, I recommend using the midpoint method. The midpoint method is a way of calculating percent change, so it doesn't matter whether you're going up or down the supply curve, because you'll get a different answer if you don't. So the way to do this is new minus old over the averaging of the, both, both of them. So I would put new plus old divided by two. Okay, so, or you could just look at the two numbers, what's halfway in between. So let's do this problem here. We're going from $1 to $3.50. We can see a change from uh, quantity 50 to quantity 55. So uh, the change as a percent in quantity supplied is 55, which is the new number, over 50, divided by 52.5. And then we're gonna we're gonna multiply that by a hundred to turn it into a percent. That's what I forgot to say on the uh, percent change formula. So make sure you uh, multiply by a hundred. And then the percent change in price is gonna be three fifty minus one over two twenty five. Okay, and then multiply that by a hundred. And after doing that, it's this is uh, top number is five over fifty two point five. We end up with nine point five percent, and then over uh, two fifty over two point two five, which is a hundred and eleven percent. Nine point five over a hundred and eleven turns out a number that's positive. This is a ratio, and this is the supply elasticity 0 0.085. And since that number is less than one, uh, even though this looks pretty flat, this is inelastic, and that's how to find elasticity of supply.